Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. In today's video, we're gonna get Pietro, our surveyor's views and opinions on the paint, the last coat of clear coat that was applied on the port side of the hull. So let's go and meet up with him and check it out. Ciao. Tutto okay. How are you? <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> are you already recording? Uh, of course. Yeah, you are a dirty I boy. I want to see your reaction. My reaction? It's very important to the my viewers. My reaction was yesterday night, not now, yeah. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno. So which boat do you want to see today? You tell me. Yeah, which boat? Are we looking at boats or cars or motorbikes? What? Or girls. Well, that's up to you, eh? Yeah, can we polish that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cancel this, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I will be stuck for the whole of my I, life. I, polish, I, I cancel nothing. Oh, jeez. I give the real lowdown to the viewers. <laughs> so, what are we thinking? Well, I, I tell you honest that um, I'm quite surprised, but uh, the, the result is pretty good. The choice to have the port side hull completely independent not to make the, the shot the port and starboard at the same uh, time at the same time to the last coat of uh, clear coat has been a perfect choice we have uh, almost nothing dust of course we have a little bit of dust but it's not uh it's not a remarks it's something that's going to be disappear sailing like for example here yeah okay we are talking about us my friend no i know this I'm is going to disappear the with the sailing in the sea and with few washing wash down so don't yeah. be worried about that we don't have a telegraphic mark from sanding of course it's been done a pretty good job on the base coat and on the clear coat when it's been applied before and on the other coat before and as you can see also that we have some details that are pretty nice on the exhaust there yeah i saw the bootleg yeah. uh, I'll just show you the viewers on the yeah, previous yeah, video it's very clean it's very clean you see? I, I just i mean from before yeah. Do you remember we had these horrible screws? This and one it, was in steel. It, it, before, yeah, it was a disaster. And this is in composite. Yeah. Yeah. I think the bonding process is it's perfect. If you look, you don't see anything. Yeah. No. On the you see nothing. The connection point, you see nothing. You don't see anything. And this process took one week by itself with all the products that has been applied to achieve the same level of finishing. So just to show us what is the surface area that this is connected to? How is it uh, the bonding area? is about uh, 80 centimeter each side for a section like this yeah and this is because it has to be made smooth and all the layer has to be in a in a in a little connection between one of the other not in step like this you know very smooth and then once it's all cured and dry they've sanded it out yeah is that right? this also is being cured with uh, infrared to make a post curing uh, uh, application and to achieve the as much as possible the same aging of the surrounding area which with the camera there you can see is completely flush hey captain we have to remember to remove the plug yeah have a look oh yes very important yeah little details little details yeah but anyhow, we already knew that yeah anyhow come to see you let's go forward. the next step now will be to have uh, to have the port holes Installed. Right, how do you call it? The portholes. Portholes installed. Yeah. And then so, when it's been we totally bonded and sealed, then we will do a high pressure water test. Once the tent's removed. As, as soon as we can, yeah. we will do it. So how long would the paint need to cure before they start reinstalling the hardware? Or can they start straight away? They, they can start uh, within the next week. So, this, so today today is Wednesday, so you think by Monday they could start? They can start. It's, it's, so yeah. one week of curing and then they can start the yeah. reinstallation. Well, the, the paint will take longer to cure. This yeah. is why it's been attacked first of the hull top side to uh, achieve the moment when we will be on the belts, where this one will be totally hard. Yeah. Because otherwise it went in the belts with the pressure yeah, of the belts month, on the hull. Yeah, one month from the belt yeah. to the belts. Today, today. So yeah. we are not scheduled. Next yeah. Saturday is Tabor side. So Tristan, you can see from this side, this is the worst position to see a paint job because we are very close. Yes. Usually we, we should stay far away. Plus we have a reflection from the plastic. From the plastic, Plus right? We have the light behind and give to us a lot of fake impression. But with our experience, your experience, my experience all together, we can check and see 
these are not defect. This is only refraction. My friend Alessandro is going to come uh, maybe today on the next day to take a glossy. I already recommend him to take, take a some, reading to take some glasses. <laughs> and then let me ask you a question: Once the tin is removed, is it is it standard practice to do a secondary inspection with natural light? We will do another inspection uh, when uh, the plastic will be removed. Oh, yes, but uh, we will see most probably less than. Uh, 20 30 percent of what we can see now okay. because the refraction will be amazing this color is gray stone if i remember gray correct. stone correct it, it's it's a very nice color for this kind of hull as you can see it melts very well with all the shape and also this line here yep. with this color that is quite particular yeah you know so in this yacht we have three different color yes. we have the glossy black on the mast yeah jet and black the strap and yep. the strap around and this one, I don't remember the name of this gray. It's a, it's a dark gray, something like that. Yeah, I can't remember the name either, to be honest. Anyhow, come to have a look at the other side because I want to show you a detail. It's quite important. That is the connection point on the bow. Because oh, yes, we, very choose, important. we choose to have a, as less as possible dust because it's impossible to avoid 100%. It's only a dream when they told you that is, we dust have free. no dust. Yeah. It's impossible. Okay. So we decide to have the minimum amount of people painting here. So the painters and the assistants was reduced at the minimum, minimum possible. And that's to minimize any potential contamination, right? So and, the, and the, the least amount of people you have, the yeah. least contamination yeah. you get in the tank. And, in the, and the other booth. things is to decide, as you know, we spoke with this one a few weeks ago, to made on the last coat of clear coat only one side at a time. Yeah. What is going to happen with this? It's going to happen that on the fork, on the bow, we will have a connection point. Whoa, careful. So, the connect, now the, the paint job, yeah, yeah, the paint job. It's on the other side, I think, yeah. The paint job has been coming a little bit from this side, okay, and, uh, and here, you can see. Okay. It's the line there. Oh yeah, well, well it's, it's far there. behind. Yeah. We see better from the top. So the, the next, uh, this hull is going to be sanded again. Okay. Okay. With 400, for instance. After, after the curing time. After yeah, a week. yeah, for yeah. sure. They already start to prepare because Saturday they paint there. So yeah. this is going to be the last thing going to be sanded and clean during this week before Saturday. So then the spray application is going to come over to this side. So then we will have all this big stainless steel protection. The stainless steel plate so she can't access. The, yeah. You see? It's up there. Yeah. One of the bigger ones. Okay. The stainless steel bow plates. Yeah. So you, you have to be aware that when the job is finished, we will have all the stainless steel protection on the bow under the chain pocket here. And then we will have the, I don't know how to say in English, in Italiano we say sfumatura. In, Italy, in English is uh, the, the coat of the clear coat that go over the top coat a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, in some point you will see this little finishing. So together you and I, at the finish of the job, we will look how we will look at this. And in my opinion, I already know from other projects, we can leave it there and by sailing, waves, washing is gonna to disappear within a few months. And if you don't like it, we can apply very, very soft polishing to remove it. No I, polishing. Good. No polishing. I, good. No, 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 I, no. I, I tell you, this is your choice. <laughs> I'm against polishing. You love polishing, so. <laughs> no polishing. Okay, sir. Fantastic. So far, so good. And now we have to cross the finger with the weather condition for next Saturday. Yeah. Yes, next Saturday. Yeah. Have you seen the long-term forecast for next Saturday? It's no. completely not uh, <laughs> acceptable. Oh, really? It's too far. It's we not reliable. It's, it's not, not reliable. reliable. Yes, yeah, yeah. we have to wait. Maybe today, tomorrow. So overall, first impressions, you're happy with this result? I'm happy because uh, I didn't come, you know, it's been spray paint Saturday. I didn't come Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. 
because we have to wait that the paint release a solvent and uh, it make, uh, I don't know the name in English, but uh, to make smooth, the, and as you can see, if you look at the paint, what you were worried, my friend, about the orange peel effect, you, you don't have it. And when well, the it's board, minimal. No, it's not. I can see it. Okay, you can see because <laughs> I have you, eyes. You, you want to see the orange peel. But, no, but from a, a distance, you won't see it. With a double clear coat and with a long board sanding between the first clear coat and the second clear coat, the orange peel effect is going to be almost disappear. Yeah. And by the way, the orange peel is not a defect. Show to you that we have a lot of paint over there. So explain to the viewers the, what orange peel means. Well, orange peel means uh, that uh, uh, the effect they give, not what it means, they give, is that they uh, give you this uh, uh, kind of uh, increased thickness of the paint. And of course, depending on which kind of pistol they use, the hand experience of the painter, the orange peel can be amazing and uh, not acceptable. But in this kind of paint, that is a double coat or clear coat, so the first clear coat is like a show coat, yeah. the bottom line, you know, and with a, with a uh, long bore sanding between uh, the first oh, clear coat and the second clear coat, this kind of defect that somebody say is almost disappear. Yeah, perfect. I'm not That's worried great. about that. I told you from the beginning, you I, will be happy about this. And the thing is that the majority of the people that have the GRP board, they have uh, um, jet coat finishing. And jet coat finishing is polishing. Yeah. So, when uh, you come from an experience of 5-10 years of jet coat board and then you go with a top coat paint, it's a completely another world. But your mind, your memory, your eyes is your toward experience. that kind of finish. Yeah. So when you come to see it, you say, oh, I want to peel. Yeah. What's, what's the matter? Great. You know, and then this just finally explain to us when uh, Alessandro from the paint company will come to do all the, all the readings. Yeah. Explain what process you two will go through. And what you're for looking the reading? for for the readings yeah okay for the reading we have on the text back uh, a, a range of uh, uh, gloss that uh, alessandro you know our friend yep. is coming to take the reading he may come today for a first reading then we will do all together you alessandro myself and as a reading in few weeks time that would be better by the way uh, we have a, a different uh, level of reading from horizontal surface and vertical surface we have also um, a criteria of acceptance for the number of dust that we have uh, each uh, 10 square centimeters. Right. But here we are completely far away from that. Look at that. The amount of dust is... Acceptable, more than acceptable. Yeah. You know, I found some defects that I'm not going to tell you now. 